It's not, that's not reckless, that's real bravery, and what's wisdom that's not being overly cautious? Intelligence. You have to use the akal. When you put your akal there, everything balances. You have to use that. And whose akal are you going to use? Your own. Until you understand that that akal has a creator, And the best uh, example of that kind of intelligence, divine intelligence, is through the prophets and the friends of Allah. You are going to continue making mistakes, but if you follow them, then it's easier. You follow that. So many times, Shaykh Hani used to tell stories about how the Shia are saying this and that about Hazrat Ali and Prophet Lisa, and uh, Shaykh Hani would say, that's from the Prophet. Where is Ali taking his knowledge from? Everything that Hazrat Ali is taking his knowledge from is from the Prophet But they're trying to make separation So when you use your intelligence Intelligence means that you have to use it You have to observe it You have to test it over and over and over again Intelligence is not sitting and just thinking You have to use it in this situation, this situation, this situation You have to see, you have to observe Once you use that intelligence there then you know when and what is bravery according to whose understanding is bravery kafirs have a different understanding of bravery munafiks have a different understanding of bravery those who are uh, mushriks uh, let's say uh, how you say people in jahiliya they have a different understanding of what bravery is <coughs> whose understanding now that's the time you must have a role model and that role model must take from the Holy Prophet And that role model you see is using that Either that bravery or that wisdom or that intelligence Over and over and over again in front of you In so many different kinds of situations Then according to how your heart is open You will be able to take You see It is not about how much is being poured to you also They say if there is a stack of wood and that wood is wet, no matter how much fire you put, it's not going to light up. No matter how much gasoline you put on the wood too, it's not going to catch fire. But if the wood is dry, then just a little bit of a spark, it, everything can catch. So coming to that situation where you have to be dry, this is the point. This is the point. So many are coming yeah, with a glass filled, filled. They have so many ideas. They're not emptying their cup. Then how are you going to learn new things? How are you going to learn what bravery is according to the awliya Allah? How are you going to understand what akal is? How are you going to understand all these things? Because there are many, many, many different understandings, but you say, I'm taking this one as a role model, then why are you not understanding and taking and emptying your cup so that it can be filled? Because emptying the cup now would mean that you are going to say, I finish with myself. I don't want to. I'm not going to say la to myself. And that's a problem. And so many times that is a breaking point of people. That's why this tarikat, yes, we say it is open, it is that. But it is also very difficult. Because if you are not uh, properly guarding that, Understanding it, your ego and shaitan will trick you one day. If you let go, we were talking about Yakin the other day, yes? If you let go, why he's doing like this? He said like this, but he did like this. Once you start judging, oh, boom, and then it starts knocking around in your heart. Shaitan says, ha, huh, there's a hole there, let me enter. It's a free world. You may say, you may ask, but you don't. Why the person is not asking? Why the person is putting doubt there? The person is putting doubt because his ego is hurt and is not looking for an understanding. He is looking at how his ego is hurt, just like shaitan, not looking to understand. Finding every uh, excuse, no? 
to just make that hurt to become more alive, more real. But it's not. It's dead, you see? But they're making it to become more alive. It's dead. It's not there. But they keep pumping it and pumping it. It is artificial. So how are we going to make that connection strong? This is important. Then once you make that connection strong, then you become like a dry wood. Then a little bit of something coming down, you understand perfectly. Like they say, you don't have to understand that there is a town over there when you see a minaret coming out. You're traveling in the old days. They say you don't need to understand there is a town. You don't need to see everything. But when you see there is a minaret there, then you know that it's a town. This is for people of understanding. And this is the important thing. Because the Quran the Kerim is speaking over and over and over and over again. This is for understanding. This is for people of understanding, men of understanding, men of knowledge. Why you don't have understanding? So the whole point of religion now, it is to make man to understand, to understand himself and to understand his Lord. But man now is just swallowing and swallowing and swallowing. And he's not understanding, he's not digesting. He's swallowing and he's throwing up. He's swallowing and he's passing it out. But there is no understanding. Once, if you have that understanding, you don't need so much. You don't need a whole town right in front of you to understand it's a town. A little sign, you understand. A little sign, you understand. Because where it is that you don't see the signature of your Lord? Where it is that you don't see the wisdom of your Lord there? Where is it that you don't see the rahmat of the Prophet You have to be blind. So, Empty your cup. If you have to start to first empty it, learn how to learn, they say. Learn how to learn. So many people, they're so proud. They say, I know already. Why is telling me to learn how to learn? I know. I know, I know, I know. And this is why this world is in a situation right now. More and more people, more and more people knowing everything. Everything, split second, they can understand. They can download. They can look but more and more and more confusion because there's no guidance. And when there is knowledge, but there's no guidance, when there's ilm and there's no irshad, that time, the one who's going to guide you will be shaitan. May Allah keep us always in guidance, inshallah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, giving command to us to recite every single day. Keep us on the straight path. Guide us to the straight path. Keep us on the straight path. Ihdina siratul mustaqim. And that straight path is not any straight path that you think is a straight path, like so many modern Muslims. They think it's a straight path because they make it up as they like. But Allah is putting condition, the straight path of those whom I favored, not that group and not that group, specifically this group. And now we see two billion Muslims, everyone wants to make their own mashab, everyone wants to make their own way, their own understanding. Especially those, and who are these ones? They are not those ones who are ignorant. They are those ones who think they know so much. At least those ones who don't know, they admit, they say, I don't know. I'm just going to follow. The more you know, the more you're going to be responsible. The more you follow the right ones, the more you're going to be protected, even if you don't know so much. But you follow the rightly guided ones. You are in the guidance of those whom Allah has favored. 1400 years, Muslims were running for that. They were running to be under the shadow and under the protection of those whom Allah has favored. They were running to be with those ones whom Allah has favored. They were not trying to say, to argue with people, that's not favored, that's not favored. I'm going to be the one who's favored. No, they were running to find those ones who are favored. Allah has favored and running to be with them. Today, everyone is claiming something. Everyone is claiming. Nobody wants to follow. May Allah save us from the evils of our ego. May Allah forgive me and bless you and raise the station of our shaykh, inshallah. Al-Fatiha.